Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Lojak. We are talking right now with Sean Higgs from NJWiseGuys.com. We're previewing week 10 in the NFL, and Sean has chosen the Sunday night game, Chicago and Green Bay to cover this week. Sean, thanks for being back with us. I'm glad to be here, Peter. Thank you. All right, interesting that you chose this game. I'm still, uh, you know, uh, kind of wary of it right now. We'll see what you have to say about it before we get to it. Uh, tell everyone what NJWiseGuys.com is all about, how you've done this year at your site. Well, it's a great multi camper site. Got about 13, 14 guys on there. Every day there's free picks up, and it's heating up right now. You got NBA, hockey, so you got daily action there. College hoops coming up. Always weekend football. Football seven days a week, actually, so free picks every day there, especially in football. And just want to say to go to a lot of good free content. And listen, the guys are honest. I'm going to tell you when I lose. I say I got a bad pick. We put the videos up. I say, hey, this is a bad play by me. So you get the honesty from everybody there. So I think that's a, a good difference maker. Well, Chicago Green Bay is is the game you chose this week. You get a little bit of a break on the on the uh, lines here because both the spread and the total are uh, the market is uncertain about them. Minus seven and seven and a half for Green Bay are both widely available, and fifty three or fifty three and a half are both widely available as well for the total. You know, both both teams are off of a buy. Chicago in general is the kind of team that I look to uh, to bet on when they're. Uh, you know, a, a road underdog and to, to bet against when they're a home favorite here. They're a decent sized road underdog. But then again, you know, Green Bay with Aaron Rodgers at home coming off the bye. Not sure I'd want to bet against that. Probably the uh, the public will be all over the over here. And, uh, you know, both teams have huge offenses and these primetime games have tended to go over uh, this year so far. So I can certainly see that. But it makes me nervous also to bet the over in a high NFL total. So what's your take on this game, Sean Higgs? I got to say, you know, tough game I grabbed, but you know, we're in it for the we're in it for the tough games. Yeah, I, I see this. You know, I had both of these guys. I had the Bears when they got beat up in the, against the Patriots. I had the Saints over Green Bay, and I thought that kind of played out the same. This Bears team, I think they're really talented. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of me was like, I looked at them like, wow, well, Green Bay in the over. How did it go wrong? Aaron Rodgers at home. Right. The guys, I'm an old great numbers against the Bears, but I'm gonna take the points here. Believe it or not, okay. I'm taking taking the Bears. They, you know, they've had some issues in the locker room. I think with the week off, kind of clear up the room. The talent is there. And I think really the difference here, not to get on the total, because I'm just going to stay on, on the thing, but I think they're going to try to run the ball with Forte. They, they've had it when they played the last time. He ran the ball well. Green Bay defense, one of the bad running defenses in the league. So I think they're going to control the ball a little. And I think the real difference maker here, and I think it's going to be key, is Bennett, the tight end. Mm -hmm. You know, he's been exploited by tight ends. I think this guy's going to have a big game. As much as I like their wide receivers, I think they got two good stud receivers there. I think Bennett, uh, Forte's going to open up for Bennett, and he's just going to eat up the middle. And I think the Bears are going to win this one outright, believe it or not. I think the Bears go in there and win in Lambeau. Wow, that's a bold call. All right, well, you don't need you, you don't need the Bears to win. You just need seven and a half. And uh, you know, like I said, uh, you know, a lot of times with tough games like these, the market does uh, you know get undecided, and you have a split line. That's what we have here. So Chicago plus seven and a half is a widely available number. Uh, it doesn't concern you that their defense can at times be you know uh, very very exploitable. I mean, we could see something like uh, a game here, like like we saw with Pittsburgh when uh, Roethlisberger had those huge games and they put up fifty points. You know, if Green Bay put up fifty here, that wouldn't surprise anyone, right? Oh, no, I, listen, would, you, would I be shocked on uh, Monday morning or late Sunday night? This game's 48, 42 or somewhere in that kind of thing? Absolutely not. You got Cobb, you got Randall, uh, Lacey. Yeah. Rodgers, you know, he's just, you know, Brady gets a lot of play for as good as he makes these wide receivers around him. I mean, like Wes Wilker was great for there. He's like a fourth option on Denver. You know, so he really makes guys good. I think Rodgers is just as good or better than Brady. I mean, he might not have all the rings, but he makes guys better. The offense is explosive. The Bears are leaky for sure on defense. You know, their secondary is not to write home about. But I think in these division games, I think we're going to get, you know, them trying to hold the ball because they don't want Rodgers on the field, let's be honest. You know, and Butler, as bad as the guy gets, he's got 17 uh, touchdowns. He's only got eight picks, not not terrible numbers. He's not 19-3 and three like, like Rodgers. But, again, I'm thinking they're going to try to run the ball, and I think the difference is going to be Bennett. Bennett it's, it's key to me is Bennett over the middle and he's going to make them pay and that's what I'm saying. I'm sprinkling money line. I'm going more money line than points here, believe it or not, with wow. Chicago. Bold, yeah. bold call by Sean Higgs. Awesome analysis, <laughs> but uh, for the purposes of this video, his pick is Chicago plus seven and a half, currently widely available. If this, if Chicago wins outright, you will get some major, major props on next week and in the Handicappers <laughs> Recap Show. All right, thanks so much, Sean Higgs. Talk to you again next week. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns, big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service and much more. So come see for yourself. 
To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.